Hi guys, welcome to this short video about crazy stuff going on. I've just replaced my GoPro Hero 7 Black with this Dragon Touch Vista 5 action camera and we are talking here about the yeah, second latest GoPro Hero for $229 and replacing with a camera which is only 69.99 so i mean yeah we are not only talking about 229 i mean it came out with uh, i think for 500 dollars i bought it for 375 now replaced with one for 69.99 so what's the deal here is that only clickbait or have i really done this yeah yeah i have to admit it's not a full replacement of course uh, but i had this mounted i mean the gopro i had it mounted on my bike since a couple of years i took it away for some special shots every now and then but i had it most of the time mounted on my mountain bike to make some really nice footage from my uh, trips with my bike but um, yeah recently i just noticed uh, when i extended my bike trips that it didn't cover the whole trip i mean i i had the footage uh, for maybe 40 45 50 minutes or so and after that the rest was missing and i remember that i had bought this yeah just uh, almost a year ago dragon touch vista 5 and one of the only things i remember that it had really long uh, recording duration i think i didn't max it out but uh, after an hour or so i had uh, at least 50 percent or so and here it died uh, i mean no matter what battery i was using in the past uh, it, it died after at least or at the latest uh, after 50 minutes i have a couple of batteries original batteries some replacement batteries which are even uh, listed with higher milliampere hours so it shouldn't be a problem with old batteries they are pretty new maybe they have updated the firmware a little bit that it even uses more battery but 50 minutes it's definitely not enough and so i switched the thing out and i went on a bike ride uh, I think two, two days ago came back checked the footage yeah it was uh, I think 40 minutes and I checked the battery and it was showing full battery I mean yeah pretty much full 80 90 percent and I was totally shocked and I thought okay let's keep this going I mean I just put it on the desk and started recording it and I wanted to keep going uh, till the battery dies and uh, same as here happened with the GoPro after 50 minutes and i mean i was using same uh, resolution yeah so when i went on a bike ride usually i was using just uh, 1080p 30 frames and i put the dragon touch vista 5 on exactly same setting also with maximum stabilization so there shouldn't be a problem of course when you have it like normal on a desk it's a little bit of a difference maybe a little bit compared to that then uh, when you have it on a bike uh, riding outside and it has to do stabilization but uh, based on my experience it doesn't uh, have a huge impact yeah and it ended uh, the recording i've put the numbers here together and you can see that it ended after two hours and 28 minutes so here we had my original footage i think that was my original bike ride here uh, 22 minutes and 11 minutes and then I started just recording and it went on and on 22 minutes another 22 another 22 another 22 another 22 and then 50 seconds here here we have the thing from the GoPro 17 minutes 15 minutes 17 minutes I had it interrupted uh, for a short break just a couple of minutes and yeah when I made a, a pause during bike ride so we end yeah here at uh, 50 minutes yeah i didn't write it down but it's 50 minutes for the gopro and 2 hours and 28 minutes for the dragon touch vista 5 
and of course the footage is totally different i have to admit i mean i have already made a uh, comparison between the gopro hero 7 black and the dragon touch vista 5 i mean there's a quality difference but only actually regarding the stabilization the stabilization uh, that's a huge difference of course there's no question about that that's a huge difference and of course the gopro hero is losing a little bit of battery or pretty much uh, most of it probably because of the stabilization and the dragon touch can uh, yeah save a lot of battery it would be interesting to see how long the battery would last with the gopro hero 7 black without any kind of stabilization uh, would be interesting but i think it wouldn't be anywhere close to this 2 hours 28 even without stabilization but I, i'm going to do this test of course would be really interesting because the uh, stabilization is on a on a really low level there is stabilization with the dragon touch twister 5 but on a really low level the thing is when it comes to real detailed footage i mean single images when you have to i mean usually when i go on my bike rides every day i'm not uh, uploading the footage I, I, i'm not keeping the thing uh, not uploading to my cloud or something like that and keep it forever it's useless i mean it's always uh, or most of the time it's the same area and i'm not recording because of great footage i just want to keep it in case something happens uh, i need to see like a license plate from a car or something like that and when you compare in the same quality like the dragon touch vista 5 and the gopro hero 7 black when you compare single images it's exactly the same no matter if it's 1080p or 4k i mean this is also capable to do 4k i've made uh, really this comparison already this youtube video and you can see that uh, that single images have almost the same quality there's really no difference when it comes to uh, details it's just all about stabilization and special features so for me at the moment for my bike rides i am keep going with the dragon touch vista 5 but definitely i will do a test with the gopro hero without stabilization so let's see how this works out and i'll keep you updated and i will show that in one of my next videos so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to my channel and yeah that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or other opinions on that please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time